Hi people and I'm back cooking again and today I'm making the long weighted masuka. Right I've warmed the pan up and it says to put red onions in on some of the on some of them it says red onions and on some it says normal onions so I don't know I'm just I'm just doing what I think is right. So I'm put them on a the medium heat. And I've got to wait until they go soft. There is um there is gonna be well there's gonna be a few of them missing. Uh, there is gonna be cheese missing on this because obviously my son can't have cheese. So it's two tablespoons of oil, one red onion on a medium heat and it says I've got to cook it till soft and then add my garlic oh cook for a few minutes add garlic and then cook for a few minutes and then it says stir uh, then I said add the lamb but I think that needs to be in a pan well it's in a pan so I'm going to get let them, it says on a medium heat, it says let, let them get soft first and then add the garlic which is, get my paper back, which is um, hmm, two tablespoons of garlic. That drone is solid. Um, I don't even think there's two tablespoons in here. Oh, that's strong. I'm not going to add the garlic yet. Is this oven even on? Yes. I expect the onions to be spitting by now. So I'm going to move the onions to the middle of the pan because that's where the heat is and because it's on number three because it's on halfway it should it should do yeah nice little pattern oh one bit sticky there we are so that like I said should cook um, until soft Right, I've just had the uh, garlic. Nice, it smells nice, doesn't it? And I'm going, and it says had, it doesn't say had anything, it says add the mince, the lamb mince. It, do, <laughs> it does say how much, but I didn't weigh it out. How much is in bag? I need to add it all. What's it say here? <sighs> It just says lamb mince, I put how much. Alright, so, well, I'll anyway, I'm going to add a lot. Mix it all round. It does say I need to probably add some more oil. That's it, well, what's it say yet? Alright. What? Stir in lamb well, cook until. Yeah. Right, well I think I need to because it does say add a bit more if we need to. Uh not mince, obviously. Bloody oil. I think I put all in. Because it just says a lot of mince. I am gonna add a little oil because it does say you can add a little oil, shit, a bit too much, but and I'm going to cook that until the mincers, until all the oil has been evaporated. Oh, that's a big word, isn't it? It was 
for people who don't know so it's dry. Right, I've got to wait. Wait till this goes brown. So cooking it. What the hell is clicking all the time? Um so yeah. What is it that's clacking clicking? Do 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 do. Uh I'll get a beating do 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 do. So cook it until it's dry, simmer for, well that's when it's brown, keep knocking it out at bleeding pan, oh, the pan's big enough. Right it says season with salt and pepper. Spoon now. So mix that in and then it says add the parsley that's the parsley added on the spoon again <laughs> and then it says I don't know where the mouth lost the way I am. Simmer. But it's on simmer already, we're all simmering before. So season with salt and pepper. Add parsley. Melt butter in another pan. Oh right, I need another pan then do I? Right then, so I shall melt some Put some butter in a pan and stir in. Right, right, can you get me a pan, Lee, please? Can we smell some butter? Right, I added the milk and the. Oh, I haven't added the milk. I added the marge and the flour. It didn't record, so I'm adding now the milk. And I'm going to mix that together. Got lumps in which it shouldn't have. Um, the milk should have been hot, I just remembered. Or you can do it cold, use it cold. That's turning exactly how it should do. That's exactly how it was in the video I watched. Alright, so I'm going to take that off. And I'm sure, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm sure I'm supposed to add it here. I think I'm supposed oh god, that's a bit still on. Turn that off, put that on one. And I think I'm supposed to add it in here, as the video said. And mix that in. Keep mixing this in and then I'm going to rearrange. When did it say put that? Oh, yeah. Then, as you can see, I've got an LPG. Uh, down, down. Let's go back a bit. Alright, can you see it? Just get on with it. Right, I've got an LPG anyway. Mixed in that in. Mix it in very well, actually. Right, so I'm going to just leave that to simmer for a bit because I'm going to cut. 
my taters up. I've already done some. And then I nearly took my finger off. So I wasn't happy about that. So shift that because I've got you know, the ingredients. Put that in there because I need <laughs> sending everything out back up the cooker. That got no room in this kitchen. Now, so what I'm gonna do is I've added these soaking in water. I've got no room in this kitchen. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop some more taters up. Hopefully, not with fingers anymore. That's bloody hot. So I'm going to chop taters up. I am absolutely, I tell you now, you can't see it, but I am absolutely shitting myself. This is a brand new knife and it's as sharp as hell. As you can see, I've got a plaster on my finger because it got me last time. So I'm going to put the bit down. Oh, why is that too? I'm going to throw that bit away. Can't have that if it's got uh, something on it. Oh shit. Now I'll get another two. <laughs> Don't trust these, this knife. I'm going to just keep cutting. That's it. Oh, shit. I'm taking a chance like this. Take my bloody fingers off again. That's the the uh, taters. But what I'm gonna do, shit, is the aubergine. And that's going in the oven first. The oven's on. And I'm gonna take the top off. Why didn't that come off? That's it. Take the top off. And as it was told, I need to peel it. So I'm going to take the outer skin off, then I'm going to slice it up. Right, lead's gone off somewhere, so I'm having to do this. I'm cutting my aubergine. And I'm going to put it in the pan, because it says the aubergine needs to be cooking. So I'm going to cook the aubergine first. I don't think I'm cooking. I think I'm cooking it, cutting it way too thin. But this to make it pretty thick. So I don't think I peeled it right, but peeled it best I can. Uh, off. Put that in. Put my knife away now. Give me a bit more room. Oops. A bit of skin on my thumb. <laughs> so I spread them out. I'm not going to have much room, but take them in. Take them off. Do them in a bit. Because it says you'd probably have to do it in two batches. And then it says... Right, cook. Hold on, let me just check all this because I'm getting confused. Right, I'm going to have the puree and the 
stuff together. Um, I'm not going to put too much on because it's got to cut with something. Because there's no, it doesn't say anything about adding any more jewels, but it does say adding puree. Oh, I've run out of room now. What to? I've run out of thing. What to say now? What it's got written down. So I'm going to give that like that. Mix it in so it's got something to cook with. And like I said, it's going in for 45 minutes. And hopefully, oh, we should find out what it uh, tastes like. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook the aubergines for about 10 minutes. I know I've done the other and left it in, but I found out after five minutes of sat down and thinking what I was doing, I remembered. So I've put the aubergines in for 10 minutes, and I'm going to put the rest of the mince on it. Then I'm going to put the. Then I'm going to. What I'm going to do is fry the potatoes as well, and hopefully everything should go right. Right, I've put some oil. I'm using the same pan. I know you're going to say, oh, don't do that, but I'm going to put the potatoes in the pan and I'm going to cook them until they are golden brown I don't know how long for just until they're golden brown so that's it's quite a few potatoes in there um, And what I shall do is, when they are done, I shall turn them over, give them a chance to go golden brown. And then by that time, everything should be ready. Right, as you can see, I've got my aubergines done. I'm going to put what I should have done first time around. I'm going to put the minced meat on that there and my uh, oh, spuddy taters as you can see they are golden brown they stick into the bloody pan and I'm going to put them on top I don't think it's supposed to be as brown as that but not to worry oops drop that one put that on top and put another one in there and I am going to put that now in the oven for 45 minutes and then well I'm going to bring the other one out and put some potatoes on that one as well right um well memory card we, I'll tell you Joe we're having a bit of trouble with memory card a bit we? of trouble it's a pain in the arse it records when it wants and don't record when it can't be bothered it's a pain in the arse well at least said it's a pain in the arse so that's it that's the tomato juice however and um, so that I'm going to put that back in the oven for about 20 minutes and hopefully everything should be fine. Right, as you can see it's done. So I'm going to cut a bit out for them. Oh, oh got a bit burnt lately. Sorry, right, Lee. I'm going to let you try that. And this is Lee's going to do the taste test. You're feeling any better now? Yeah. Good. You still look pale though. I'm not even looking forward to this. <laughs> well, I'm in from nice and moist. Good. That's a change for your mince meat. Yep, because no. Is it a or an orange? I have no oh, idea, I think it's not a bit of aubergine. I've never tasted these. I think you're these. supposed to have it together, a bit together. Oh, right. I've never tasted these. I think it's these. supposed to have it together, a bit together. Oh, right. Is it, is it meal? Is it, you know? Yeah, probably not. No, you, you've never tried an aubergine. Guess what? Right, I'll see you ever. Neither have I. Wait a minute, Kelly. Oh, yeah, there's going to be a link in, my, in, in, in this Facebook, Kay's Cooking Facebook page. That is nice. Is it? Nice mixture of flavours. The tomato is way too strong. Oh, 
It really is. I, I didn't put as much in as, uh, as it the, said. The tomato overpowers it all. Yeah, but the aubergine tastes just nice. Yeah, everything's fine. Aubergine's nice. But you have the, um, the tomato puree, whatever you put in. Tomato puree, tomato, it's it with pasta and tomato puree. It says you have well, to have them both. It's, I don't know why, but it's too overpowering, but, you know, for my taste, but thumbs up. Oh, brilliant. Um, well, like they said, the, pa uh, the tomato are a bit overpowering. I'll tell you, the, do you, remember, you won't believe this, but I'm going to tell you, there's three people in this kitchen and we're fighting for space. Well, I said three people, two people and a dog. <laughs> so, anyway, if you like what you see, please keep viewing me. I know I've made a mess of it first of all, but... I rectified it all by putting a different pan in. So if you like what you see, please keep viewing me. If you want to give me a big old thumbs up, then much appreciated. <sighs> Shit, what comes after appreciated? Yeah, uh, if you want to leave a comment, please feel free, the more the merrier. And if you haven't subscribed, or you know someone who hasn't subscribed, Curly, don't look back at camera. If you know someone who hasn't subscribed, get them subscribing, get subscribing yourself, get everybody subscribing. Thank you. Bye.